Okay, hello everyone, Lewis here, and today I'm going to be bringing you the first ever tutorial on this channel, and it's going to teach you guys how to create a Terraria server successfully without using Hamachi, because lots of people have a problem with Hamachi for some odd reason. So this is going to teach you how to do that, and there's two main steps to this. The first step is to forward your ports, which can vary from router to router, and the second step is to create a rule on your firewall to enable the server to actually work. Or you could just turn your firewall off, but of course that's not recommended. But anyway, we're just going to get into the first step, and I'm going to say that because it does vary from person to person, as I said, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go on this website, portforward.com, and it will have a list of routers just over here. And if you look on your router, there will be a code on it, 99% of the time, so just check out for that code, and then click on whichever route you have, and it will tell you how to forward the ports, but... In my case, I've got a Netgear router. It will be pretty much the same for any Netgear router, and this will basically teach you how to do it for a Netgear router. And most people have a Netgear router these days, so it should be useful to most people. Or even if you don't have one, it will still give you a basic idea of how to do it. But anyway, we're going to do the first thing that we need to do, and we're going to press the start bar and type in CMD. And once we've got that open, we want to type in ipconfig. And with that, we're going to scroll up a bit and we will see the default gateway. Again, this can vary from person to person, depending on which router they have. In my case, it is 192.168.0.1. So we'll just actually we'll close that. And we'll open up our browser again and type in that number which we just read. Or if you've somehow forgot, you may want to actually leave the command prompt open. But yeah, anyway, once we've done that, we will get a prompt for the username and password. In most cases, the username will be admin and the password will be password, but it can vary from router to router. So use the code you see here and Google it, you know. In my case, it would be Nekia G DG 834 GT password that I would Google and I will more than likely find people who also have this problem. But yeah, I'm just going to log straight in. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is going to be wanting to create a new service. So we're going to go on services and add a custom service. And we're going to give it a dec decent name. So in the future, we actually know what it is used for, so we don't accidentally delete it. It doesn't have to be called Terraria, but it will help you in the future. And we're going to change the type to a TCP slash UDP. And we're going to change the start port and the finish port to 7777, since that is the port that we need to open up. Obviously, if you need to open up a range, you could do it from, I don't know, somewhere like here to here, so then all ports between these two numbers would be open, but you only need to open up one port in this case, so we're going to just do that and click on apply. And for my router, it might be different again, after that I need to go on the firewall rules and add this to the outbound services and the inbound services, so that it is able to connect with the client, aka your friends. So we're going to click on add service on the outbound services and we're going to scroll down to Terraria, which is, and oh no, that's up here. Where, where the hell is that? I've seen it. There it is, okay. So we'll click on that and we want to change this to allow always. And leave all these as default and click on apply. And as you can see, we have our outbound service just over here. And now we need to create the inbound service. And again, just click on the add button underneath that. And again, Terraria. And for this, you need to know what your LAN server is for your computer. If you've got a brother in the house or something, um, you would need to make two rules on your firewall for the two users. But in my case, I just need to open up the attached devices um, section of the router. And this takes a while to load for some reason. I don't know why it always does. And once we've got that, we will see we've got our IP address, which is 192.168.0.3. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in that .0.3. And again, leave all these as default and click on apply. And that is it pretty much done for the router part. So we're just going to close it all this. We don't need it anymore. And now we move on to a firewall. Uh, the only thing which I'm going to teach you in this is how to do it for Windows firewall. If you've got a separate firewall, you'd probably best just be turning it off. Fire Windows firewall is pretty good, 99% of the time, assuming you don't go on any dodgy websites. So if you just want to do it a simple way, you can click on this, turn off a firewall, boom, you know, you can do it right now if you really want to. I mean, if it's on a 
computer which isn't your main computer you might want to do it but in my case I'm just going to leave both these on and I'm going to teach you guys how to make a rule for the firewalls instead of just turning them off. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click on the advanced settings for the firewall and for this we've got the inbound and outbound services Although for most users this allows a much more detailed way of seeing how everything is enabled and disabled um, unless you actually know what you're doing I would recommend that you close this and click on allow a program or feature through Windows Firewall because it's much easier. If these are all greyed out click on change setting up here and once you've done that you want to click on allow another program and now you need to browse to your program. Okay, for most people, it will be this path, which will be local disk, program files x86, or if you're using a 32-bit operating system, it will be program files. And Steam, Steam apps, Common, and Terraria. I will leave a, the path in the description below again, and I'll, actually, I'll, I'll leave a full way to do this um, in the description if you do miss out on a point. And the application which you want to enable the firewall to accept is the Terraria server. And once done now we're just going to click on open and click on add. Okay and then once we've added it we want to, we'll just take both of them. So this is for every user and it will enable it to talk talk to the client basically that's what, that's what it does. So anyway once we've done that that is pretty much everything so we're just going to go to the path which we just closed which is this and we're going to start up the Terraria server and once you've got the Terraria server you're going to have a few things you might not be used to these but you will have your all your worlds and you can create a new world or delete a world in my case I'm going to host world 1 and I'm just going to change the max players to 8 and change make sure the port is 7777 otherwise it will not work the password I'm going to leave it as none okay and to prove that this does work we're going to go on steam and we're going to ask a good friend Hmm, where is he? Okay. Join the server. Okay, so I'm going to have to give him the IP now. And to find out your IP, just type in, what is my IP? And that will pretty much work. And there will be your IP address, so feel free to DDoS me. There we go. And I'm going to give him the IP, and hopefully he will join. Um, your password. So of course this is Daniel for anyone used to the people who do stuff in our channel and hopefully he should join it. So as you can see Daniel has joined so there we go. Um, yeah I think this will work. Yeah okay. So yeah that's all there is really. If you guys had problems with this and want any help feel free to PM me, email me or anything like that and I will make sure to help you guys. I'll reply to every single comment so yeah, I hope this tutorial has been useful as it is my first ever tutorial and thank you for watching and goodbye.